Trooper wheelbarrow. You'll need your box, your handles, and your buckets. If and when possible, stack your wheelbarrows so your bolts don't fall through. Inside your box, you'll have your wedges, legs, leg brace, wheel, tray brace, nose piece, hardware. And inside your hardware, you have your axle and your axle braces. Inside your hardware, you'll have two of the absolute longest and then the next longest bolts for your bucket. The smallest of your long bolts go for your nose piece and the four matching will be used for the rest. You have two different small bolts for the trooper. Square shank, countersunk. The countersunks will go with your tray braces at the very end. Bucket on the side. Take your four longest bolts and stick them through with the longest of the, of the sets going away from you. Then your wedges with an arrow facing down towards your bucket. If you're having trouble with your handles, with wooden handles, get the top one in, your longest bolt in first, pull tension back on the back bolt, and then slide your handle, and they will stay and they won't fall. Then your legs. Hand tighten down with four nuts. Your leg brace with your square shank bolts. Hand tighten down. piece with the smallest of your long bolts. These are the first bolts we tighten down to hold everything in place. one of the four remaining long bolts and a nut and your wheel axle on the back hole. Can tighten. On the front hole with one of your longer bolts and your tray brace. Axle, wheel, wheel axle, same bolts in the back hole, and with your tray brace in the front hole.
now with the countersunk bolts. To connect your tray braces to the bucket or tray. Now tighten everything down, continuing down the line, staying in a neutral position so you don't have to continue walking around the wheelbarrow. Trooper Wheelbarrow.